Hi, this is Suze Levin Tarot, and we are doing today um, you and your person of interest, but the title they suggested was, <laughs> um, okay, I had to scribble it down, okay, I'm just nosy about this person and want to know about, I'm just nosy about, um, I'm just nosy about this person and want to know, uh, want to know about them. Um, and then it was like, it said, uh, and then I channeled, I love, um, I love this one, but don't want to admit that I do reading. I love this one, but I don't want to admit that I do reading. <laughs> And I was like, that was going to be for tomorrow, but it, it felt so funny. I was like, okay, let me go ahead and do that because something else might come in tomorrow. So let's go ahead and see if I could do that one. All right. So it's like, it's like, okay, so there really, it's like your person of interest, but, um, I love this one, but I don't want to admit that I love that I do reading. Okay. You don't want to admit that you love this one reading. Okay, so so it's like person of interest, but there's a, it's not just person of interest. It's you actually love them, but don't want to admit it. Okay, so let's dive in. That sounds interesting. <laughs> I'll try my best to go through um, all the signs, right? Okay, all right. We'll start with Aries. Okay, I'll try to do like quickies for each one. Aries. Okay. Woo! Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so what I want to say was, okay, so what I want to say is, is that whoever you were interested in, you felt attracted to, but it was this energy that ended it. Uh, whether it was in your mind or um, it could have been uh, family or work related things also that ended the connection. Okay, now what's the next card then? Woo! All it takes is communication. Okay, with your person. Okay, that you love. Okay, but don't want to admit. So for some of you, you might go look into your chart and see where you have Scorpio energy, and then this can turn upright. And the key here is communication though, but look, now this looks like an eye here, like someone has their eye on you, hiding, okay, all right, so I feel like you've been doing that, or they've been doing that to you. Okay. Okay, so there was an ending of a cycle. For some of you, that's saying to me, because it came up twice with potentially this card and this card, is that um, it was ending of one cycle, but it could come back around. Okay, that's what it's telling me. Okay. And sometimes this Pluto energy is what... Um, it looks like an ending, but it's just like raising the energy higher. Okay. And so potentially I want to say in the future, uh, you're going to be able to have energy to go towards this connection. It's like balanced here. That's what I get because you've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. But I feel like what will open this door and keep it going is positive communication. Yeah, okay, so it's like the wheel keeps on turning. Uh, all right, so here is, for some of you, it was this energy that was the problematic energy, okay, that boss mode energy and not flexible and not willing to, um, okay, so what I want to say is, let me get another one. Yeah, okay. Now, whoever is here, doesn't matter what sign. If you're here, um, you could be the emperor, and uh, 
it's like they had all this passion and you probably turned it down because of work or whatnot. Okay. Now, so, but I'm, I feel like they're still uh, ready to keep moving with you here. That's what I'm getting. Okay, see? That's what I was talking about. It was that Pluto energy. But look, see? It's like two people looking at each other. Yeah, and it'll take perseverance especially if there are a lot of fiery words that were said, right? But this is like purifying energy, okay? It's like going, it's persevering through all the mind stuff and what? That emotional stuff, okay. All right. The challenge is this. This is the challenge right here. It's like, you know, there's a connection, like a soulmate connection, but every time you think about it, it, it causes you to go in this, uh, I would say, uh, weeble wobble or polar opposite, even like Libra energy. And then here is wanting to give to it. Okay. You've been dreaming about it. And then here's the Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups to the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Now, for some of you, um, if you're looking for a new person, you might meet them through some sort of charity work. Okay, altruism or giving, service to others kind of work or... Um, it, this might be on the side. Okay. And, hmm. The suggestion here, because this is like a generosity card or being generous. So it's like be generous with your emotions. And I feel like that'll open up the door here in the physical reality. Okay. Because you got six of cups and then six of pentacles. Okay. Let me get another one. Let me shuffle. Oops. All right. Three hit the floor. I got those. Okay. Okay. See, that's what I was talking about. That's the Libra energy. All right. And... There's something going on here with competition that's unhealthy, okay? Now, this could also turn into, for some people, this is could be uh, even self-worth, how you see yourself as everyone else is worthy of your person except you. Okay, so that's that. So for some of you, this was like working on yourself, um, and it could be self-image or needing to be, extra selfish with your time to bring in something, okay, or to improve or have in your mind um, less competition so that you could be in a position to move towards your person. Okay, something like that's coming in. Now, if you have been with them for a long time, okay, what I want to say is this is just a pause, and this justice reverse is, I feel like you don't want to get a divorce. Okay, so it's like taking time to pause to, uh, okay, yeah, to keep moving. And you want to go back to the connection, a stronger person. Okay, and, um, but you, you, there may be a little bit of fear there that you're going to lose your person. Okay, but see on the bottom, uh, I would say, no, they're here. Okay, so what I'm getting is it takes strength and courage on both sides and open communication, open-hearted communication. Now, I, I don't want to be mm, put you in a general place, but sometimes men, right, um, they don't go the depths 
in emotions as much as women do sometimes. Okay. It's just some people, right? And that's what I'm picking up here is that um, I feel like the female side was opening their heart all the way open. And, um, and I feel like the masculine energy wasn't. Okay. Could be a man or a woman, but I'm getting that. Okay. All right. So, again... Um, this was next to this card, so it could be about building, finding self again, having a healthy ego again, if you get lost in someone, right? And having to walk away just so that you could recalibrate and find yourself again. Now, with Leo card showing up here, that could be the Venus retrograde, right? It's like looking like it's walking back, but here the cups lining back to go back to their person, okay? I'll leave you with that. Okay, now we're going to go to Taurus. Okay, Taurus. Ooh. Okay, Taurus. All right. I love this person, but I don't want to admit that I do love this person reading. <laughs> okay. And I'm nosy right now. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. All right, so I feel like whoever, I feel like this is a cross watcher of Taurus. You feel restricted from being able to be with them. All right. And uh, this is Taurus energy here. All right, and, oh, Ace of Wands, okay. So what I'm getting here is you feel blocked from seeing whoever this person is. Okay, you feel blocked. That's what I'm getting. And you really want to go towards them, but this may not be the time. But you do love them. Yeah. And you want to find the passion for them again. Something got, um, let's see, it's like, what it feels like to me is like priorities got, got switched or something. Okay, so it's like taking a pause from each other, taking a pause from each other. What are they doing? Okay, so they're trying to get a handle on their emotions and find their passion again. Okay, yeah. See, okay, there are two readings that I did. One was like uh, finding sexy back, and the other one was the one I did just was it yesterday or day before yesterday. Anyway, it was like trying to feel sexy, that passionate side again. Somewhere there is like a feeling of, uh, it like took a, a offbeat path somewhere and then kind of got lost in it kind of feeling. Okay. But this is like, um, rebirthing and I feel like because of the emotional scale, there may take some time the pause, but I feel like you're still, you would still be, uh, physically attracted to them, cross watcher. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so um, Taurus, I feel like even though, though there's a pause, there's going to come back uh, a comeback energy. Okay, now I think it was this reading, but I got the feeling in one of the readings that there was like this person wanting to come back anywhere from October to December, and I feel like that is relevant here. Okay. All right, even though you both have walking, walked away from each other, but you're still, the I want to say the masculine energy is still keeping an eye. That's what I want to say here. Okay, see? That's what I was talking about. That's the next one. Okay. Yeah, see, it's like Venus retrograde, and what it takes is that Mercury energy, open-hearted communication and offering, and it may not come together now, um, but I feel like, see, this looks like even a wheel up here. So it's going to turn again. 
and anywhere from October to December. I feel like, um, Taurus, you're going to come back with this person. Okay. And it, it takes balancing on both sides. That's what I'm getting. It's like two people on a, uh, trying to balance, uh, yeah, soulmates. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. And six of pentacles here. Okay. Now, the reverse or the shadow of this would be like feeling like you're not equal, on, on equal footing, right? That one person has more say in the relationship than the other one. Did you question their... Hmm. Did you question their depth of emotions for you? Okay, that's what I'm kind of feeling here. Let's see, what's the next card? Because I feel like you feel like here, this two of uh, pinnacles back here is like what you gave was this, right? The ocean of love. And then you feel like what they gave, six of pinnacles, okay, even though they were a soulmate, right, was kind of like, always going somewhere okay but what you won't need to know probably is that they are still holding on okay if we're talking about the emperor energy here right you or the other person could be trying to bring money in for um a bigger group of people and that's that's probably been on the forefront okay now for some of you this is wanting to establish your life and your career again if you got lost in someone else's world okay it's something like that Woo! okay so again here it is ace of swords now there's a potential to bring in on most most uh cards you'll see a crown here and that's like a, a potential for victory to move in that direction now this card today is popping up as an eye so i feel like they're keeping an eye on you taurus okay and okay so the wheel is turning on those endings for some of you okay and again okay the emperor energy that's what i felt okay so all right i'll leave you with that okay so let's see For some of you, that emperor is having all kinds of challenges, okay? And I feel like they want to be supported, okay? All right. Now we're on Gemini. Oh, I got a letter.